I hope you are all doing great and welcome to day 27 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to create aggregates for the master detail report. I will use the sales invoice and here I have defined uh, a few fields with the number, sell to customer number, address, city, email and the sales invoice line where I have linked now the document number to the particular number and the different columns in the particular sales invoice line. So what we are interested in is having uh, the aggregates displayed for the type for this particular uh, detail. So we'll, we'll mostly have the quantity, unit price, line amount, and the amount including uh, VAT. We'll choose which aggregates to have. It's either average or, uh, uh, let's say, average or sum. We can even add a discount. Is it line discount? Line discount percentage as another aggregate to add. This could be an average so that we can get the average uh, percentage discount. So, uh, as usual, I'll be able to do the definition of the report for the interest of time. But if you want to uh, do the report from scratch, like you want to understand the, how to do this structure, you can look at the report series. It goes into detail in on how to create a report from scratch. So when you build, it always the report always creates a layout. And I have defined my layout under the layout, sales, invoice, RLDC. You go and open externally. So that we can be able to define uh, our properties for this particular report. So I have created a shell for the report to begin with, with, with just the sales invoice report. So we'll just go straight to inserting a table. And uh, once we insert the table, we will uh, insert a group. We'll add a group. Uh, we'll say it's a parent group. And then we'll add a group footer. So we just need a one field here before we add a group then invoice number and then we add a group again we call a group footer we group by the number then there we go so we have created a group with a group footer so this is the group um detail and this is the footer there is no group header because we just need the footer the group folder for this particular demonstration so i will insert row inside group right these are outside group all this but this one are inside the group so we need like uh, let me just do three three are enough huh? we don't need a lot then i'll have the number the cell to customer name then the last one will be the posting date or the document date let me use the posting date okay once I've done that, I can now go to the detail. The detail here, let me just remove and delete this. The detail here will take the quantity, that's a decimal, and then we'll take the unit price, and then uh, finally we'll be able to display the line amount. And uh, we had something to do with the line discount here. Line discount, line discount, line discount, and all these are of the type decimal. They are just decimal number or number. I'll copy them and paste them so that we can have the same fields here under the footer. Then here at the footer level, we will since we have them as numbers, we will now do the aggregates for this one i will summarize by uh, quantity sum unit price i'll summarize by sum uh, summarize by sum this one i will summarize by uh, av uh sum again and then the line discount i'll summarize by average i know mo most of these fields are like with the total they are found already in the main invoice header but we could be wanting maybe something like average. I said 
Some more average. It's supposed to be average. Yeah? Okay. Uh, we could be wanting something, uh, a different way of calculating the formulas that is not predefined in the main table. And this is how we can be able to achieve it. Okay. So I'll just make sure that all of them have, uh, you can select them at once. I started loving this particular font for some reason, Cambria. Whoever introduced me to this font, a client told me that they, they want their report in that font and I liked it. So we have it there, we are ready, we have our average. So what is the next step? Remember, this is, I want to rename this caption to total quantity. Then the total unit price. Then the total total line amount. And finally, the average line discount. When I preview the report as is, it will display everything here. It will display it. Will, it will display like uh, all the details plus uh, the quantity on top, the uh, everything the, as it as is. But I'd like to only display this particular detail and the average, like the total quantity, the total unit price, and the total line amount, and the total and the average. So I'll go to this particular property, click on this uh, uh, group detail. If I look at the uh, property, no, 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 this is the tablix property. So I'll just hide this row. Row visibility, hide. When I hide, what I'm hiding, I'm hiding the first row. Remember, the group is spanning two rows. If you look at the group, it is spanning two rows. But the top row is what I'm hiding. So the, the group will display regardless of this top row being hidden. And I think that's it. I'll now test the application. I'll save the test. Build, compile, build, run. Then let's see what's happening. I have set the report to be the uh, on the launch.json to be the first report that's opening. When we preview the report, we will log in and it will be the first report to preview. There it is. And then you just preview and close. So we can see that this is our report. Our report is here with us. There is number, sell to customer name, posting date, the total quantity, total, total unit price, total line amount, average line discount. So for the first item here, we have, we have hidden the first row. And we are only displaying the average of the line. So the lines we are not only we are not displaying all the invoice lines, but you are displaying the average. So you can be able to achieve a more user friendly report that gives uh, user more detail. I have just forgot to set this as the date. We could have set that as the the date, and it will have given us more more detail or more, or more information. Uh, yes. So we'll only have one line per amount. So we can. It's a good feature that I like using, especially when I need to do some unique totals when, or when I have so many master detail uh, reports and I want to display a particular uh, average. So that's it for this video. I will see you in day 28 of 30 days of AL. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.